So I come to a new video. In this video, I'm going to discuss one tailored coding question. Okay, and this question is came today in first slot. Okay, so let's start. So this is the question. Okay, so an integer array is given to you, and the size is m. Okay, an integer type variable name is also given to you. Okay, so you have to write a program to print the total number of unique pairs of integer in ARR whose sum is equal. to the given number num okay so let's see the first example the first example this is your array size okay and this is the elements so this is your num okay six so how many pairs you can create like this 2 comma 4 right this 2 comma 4 okay then again you can go again can take like 4 comma 2 right this is also a pair right then again you can take This two and this four, right? Then again two comma four, and then again four comma two. So now you have to take this second point also. So as you can see, you have to ignore these things. Means um, like this two comma four and this four comma two is treated as the same. Okay, so you can only count only two comma four or four comma two. Okay, so now you can get one. Pair, okay. So now you can think, okay. Next time I take this two and this four, right? This this another two, but although this is another two, but this pair is also treated as the same pair as this pair. Okay, means this two comma four and this two comma four is same. Although you take two different two, but also it is the same pair. Okay. So then this four comma two is also Calculate as the same pair, so only you will get two comma four. Okay, you have to return the unique one. Okay, and two comma four and four comma two is same. Mean a comma b is equals to b comma a. Okay, so at the end you will get output is one. Okay, so let's see the second example. In the second example, um, this is the size of the array. Okay, and this is your numbers. Okay. And the this is this is your num value. So two comma eight you will get ten right. Then again this eight comma two you will get uh, ten right. Again you can think like okay, then eight you can think like okay then eight comma two okay. Then again for this also eight comma two okay. But the same thing is followed here also. You have to ignore these types of things. Okay, means a equals a comma b is equals to b comma a. Okay, it is same. So you have to take only this one. Okay, although you take two difference. First time you take this two and this eight. Okay, you create this pair, and the next time you take this eight and this two, right? But um, you have to uh, calculate these two pairs as the same pair. Okay, because the numbers are same. Okay, so you have to focus only one thing is that you have to give only the number of the unique pairs. Okay, I think this is clear. So now let's see how we can solve this problem. Okay, how we can solve this problem. Okay, so in your exam you will get all these things already written in your code. Okay, so you only need to write the main logic part. Okay, so now let's see. um how you will implement that code okay so first we will just sort the array okay sort a r r okay and then so you have to find out the unique pairs right so to find out the unique pairs and try to avoid the duplicate ones in that case you can use hash set Okay, because you know in hash set you can store only the unique elements, right? So the okay, hash set string hash set equals to new hash set. Okay, then for int i equals to zero, i less than a r r plus n. I plus plus then four in j equals to I plus one j less than a r r plus length can j plus plus okay 
So, if ARR of I plus ARR of J, because you have to find out the pairs, that pairs are sum of that two numbers are equals to num, right? So, num, okay, and uh, at the end, I will just add that particular pairs in our hash set, okay? ARR of I space ARR of J, okay? And at the end, total equals to HS dot size, okay? Yeah, that's all you only need to do. Okay, so at first I just sort the array and then to find out the unique pairs I have used has set. Okay, so now uh, let's run this code. Okay, okay, so first is 4. Okay, means the array size is 4. Then 2, comma, 2, comma, um, 4, comma, 5. Okay, and then the num is like 6. Okay, and your output is 1. Okay. And then this this code will give you correct output okay so now how this code is working let's see so at first i just sort the array why so because i just try to avoid these four comma two types of pairs why so because like if you take two comma uh, four if you not sort the array then also it will count like four comma two and obviously 4 comma 2 and 2 comma 4 is two different strings right so that's why i just take the uh, 2 comma 4 types pair not i just don't want to take the 4 comma 2 types of pairs okay so because this um, array is always is sorted that's why you will like take, get some confusions but yeah it will help you to avoid these types of combination like at the first we will get the smallest number and then you will get the um, compared to biggest number okay means 2 comma 4 you will get okay you will not get any 4 comma 2 types of numbers okay so now i will use hash set why so because you have to calculate the unique pairs that's why i take the string okay if you take the integer type hash set then uh, you will face a uh, some problems right so that's why i use a uh, string okay and this is a like simple thing like we just try to find out the uh, numbers that the uh, sum of that two numbers are equals to num okay and at the end i just add that particular numbers in string format okay this uh, st uh space i have used to denote that uh, these two numbers i convert that two numbers into a string okay yeah that's all so I think this code is clear to you. If you have any question, you can definitely ask me in the comment section. So yeah, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.